Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa, and it is January 23rd. And I'm here with three high school students who are finishing their exams for first semester. So we're going to take just a minute and let them introduce themselves, give us your grade, and tell us how many years you've been at ASD. Um, I'm Enya. I'm in 11th grade, and I've been in ASD for six years. My name is Yara. I'm in 12th grade, and this is my third year here at ASD. Hi, I'm Brendan. I'm in 12th grade, and this is my fourth year at ASD. So if you've never seen the way that the gym is set up for exam week, it covers the entire floor, doesn't it? Filled with desks that are spaced evenly um, so that students come in and, and take their exams. So um, let's just think about generally how did you do? And um, maybe what did you do that you feel best prepared you for this week's of I week of exams? So, Anya, what do you think? I hope I did all right. <laughs> um, we'll find out soon. Uh, I mean, in preparation, I I had you know I wrote out review notes to try remember. So when I did it, I'd have oh I remember writing that. Mm -hmm. And if needs be, I would read over the textbook sections, read over the notes look on the internet at other sources to see to back up my answers if I had a question I could also check with my friends and the teacher and it, I think it really helped um I feel like I did pretty well I hope I did well um I think the thing that best prepared me was beginning to prepare early I think that gives you a lot of time just to like compose yourself and get enough notes together and then if you have questions you have enough time to ask the teacher and also it takes away from some of the stress during exam week which is really helpful. Uh, I think I did pretty well on every exam except for my AP physics exam which is really challenging and uh, the way that I best prepared was most of my teachers had slideshows that they'd show us to help teach us the content and then I would make my own study guide based off those slideshows and I would put an emphasis on the areas that I was weakest in and really reinforce those areas so that I would have a deep understanding of all the material. So all of the, all, everything that you said makes a lot of sense. You know, I mean, it sounds as though it's preparation in advance, it's going over notes, going over things that teachers have prepared in advance, and really, in a sense, putting, your own, putting it in your own words so you feel like you understand it. What are some tips for just dealing with the stress level? Just the fact that every day you've got tests and how do you keep up that energy and keep down the stress? I don't know. <laughs> um, to get through it, coffee's fun. Uh, <laughs> um, I think you just have to realize it's just think of it as just a test. Don't think of it as an exam because for some reason the two freak you out slightly more. So if you just think it's a test, you think you've done everything, hopefully there'll be no surprises. Just go into it calm, read over the questions. If there's one of the data booklets, read the data booklet so you know what you've got. And it just keep calm, don't freak out, because uh -huh. it's not going to help you. Um, yeah, I think the most important thing is just to relax. Like, although it's really stressful and at times it's very hard to be relaxed, but you just, you just need to keep in mind that it's going to be over soon and you did what you could. And just, yeah, just stay relaxed and sleep a lot uh, I find that when you're prepared well enough for your exams and you're confident enough in the review that you've done then there's really no reason to be stressed because you have belief in your own abilities and a tip during the exam is before every exam I take I take three really deep breaths which uh, relaxes me and it also helps oxygen get into your bloodstream so that your brain starts working and, and is ready and prepared for the for the coming exam. And one one final question. It's it's um, it's a little um, more analytical in nature. But when we look at a test, a good test really helps you learn. In other words, you you have that sense of completion afterwards. You have that sense that you really have learned in that class. That it's not just about a grade, but it's about your learning. Any any thoughts about? what kind of a test helps makes you feel that way or why might you feel that way at the end of a test in terms of your performance um, I think with the test you know maybe 
if it's multiple choice and you're doing the calculation, you know, you find your answer and you know you've done it right, or it com- it just, like, makes sense, you know, scratching your head going, it's got to be one of these, I just don't know which one. Mm-hmm. And when you do it and you're like, I understand, I think that's, that's good. That's right. I would I would say maybe an essay test helps you prove what you learn because it just while it is a specific question it gives you more freedom to demonstrate your knowledge and just put on paper everything that you know that relates to the question that will like just prove everything you've learned in the semester. Uh, I find that I've really learned the content when there's a question on the exam that is uh, the similar, not the exact same, but similar to a past uh, question from a test or quiz that I got wrong, and then this time I know how to do it. So, um, for example, in one of my calculus tests, or the exam I just took, I remember a problem I got wrong on a previous test, and there's a very similar one on the exam that I knew how to do. So I, then I knew that I made improvement in that area and learned how to do that type of problem. Well, we, of course, hope that all three of you did splendidly. Somehow I have the feeling that you did. And um, I think your words are very important, particularly for younger students when we think about how can we best help them prepare for exams in high school. Um, You gave some very good words of advice. And that's Sahifa for this week. And congratulations for semester's over. (laughs) All right, thank you.